Look at them holes right there. Uh, well, it's a genre of music that um, incorporates rap and a little bit of uh, a little bit of rock, actually. You guys may deny that. Noise headlines for me. Hip hop is uh, music. With, uh, people who you know how to make words rhyme is that let it flow. Cause like someone once told me that like rap music isn't singing, but if you if you're good enough, it makes you feel like you're singing. To me, hip hop is music and like a lifestyle because the way they dress and the way they carry themselves. Hip hop to me is, is something that, it, that expresses my expresses my feelings, my craft. So that's, I'm not saying that's what I want to do as a career. But I'm saying it really, it really relieves stress for me. It makes me express how I feel. I relate hip hop to like culture, like the black culture. You know, and I think of like beats. And I mean, when I first started hearing hip hop, it had to be like the, um, the '90s or whatever. So. But like since now, you know, like more people listening to rap and hip hop and stuff like that. What do I feel? Well, you uh, don't talk about the green green. Hip hop to me is basically a way of living. It's like anything. If you live hip hop, it's you every day. It's the way you dress, the way you get up in the morning. Me personally, I am a hip hop artist, so. All I think about all day is like basically hip hop, rhymes, not metaphors, like punchlines basically, but hip hop to the world in general is just a way of living, it's a lifestyle, and if you live that lifestyle you would understand, it's like, it's dressing, it's like a, it's like a culture of its own basically. Well, in the musical aspect, I think it's a lot of respect, it's very, very hard, very, very, yeah, it's very good. Hello, uh, yeah, um, but uh, as an instrumental standpoint, it's kind of cool to see kind of stuff they can do without actually, like, you know, you have to play this, and it's like, in but this at the same time bust it. I beat rap and bust it. Fuck it from ever to ever. This is I'm too clever. I'ma go up in the ball by the round the hollows where everybody just think I suck whatever swallow. Many motherfuckers talking shit. I'm about to hit them and get them because I'm about this. Y'all niggas. Thinking I'm some sick kids so broad. They like, oh my god, niggas is coming up under filling my balls. But most of y'all think it's ill to me. What the fuck? LL Cool J ain't rap free. Fuck that. Y'all niggas think I'm cool or something. I'm cool. Rap to me is like a, um, it's poetry to um, a beat, I guess. Because you rhyming, you know, it's like. Battle. It's really like cities going against each other. It's like two people going against each other, or a bunch of people going against each other, and see, you know, who got the best flow. Basically, it's a fight with words. You try to tear that person down, mentally, instead of physically, uh, what you do, and how fast you can do it. And it's like you're really fighting. You just kind of face off each other. You just, you just start ripping the words. And then, you know, the winners, whoever likes the best, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hip hop's not all about that. Definition of a rap battle is blatantly competition. Two people get together and they transfer thoughts, or what can I say? They 
they switch thoughts or they give each other thoughts about what they think about that person just at basically testing each other's skills like who could come up if, if it's a freestyle battle they really testing who could come up with the best words off the top of their brain if it's written they're just trying to show that they have writing skills but battle is like it's the or it's one of the main origins of hip-hop it's just like competition a lot of stuff in this world is competition right now that's what basically battling is Um, actually, I don't know because it has been around for a while. I mean, there were like the Sugar Hill Gang, you guys like those were rapping in the 70s, and it got more and more popular. Uh, you know, it's, it's evolved. It started out as like, part of music and stuff, and it's gotten deeper and stuff. And I just think kids will, will get tired of it. They get tired of I mean, stuff goes, comes and goes, like disco. And, I mean, I just, I don't think it'll be around 20 years. Maybe around five years from now, but not twenty. Do everything rap a big way like disco or something? Yeah. No. I think rap will always be there. I mean, I mean, it I, in a way it always has been. It's just it's more evolved and developed now. I mean, you had people make words rhyme back in like the fifties and stuff. So of course, I mean, it'll stay around because this is absolutely way more evolved. It's like in the nineties, like late eighties, nineties, it just kicked itself off and really turned into. It's going downhill because I don't know. It's it's not that many people coming out that are original now. It's like everybody just everybody trying to write a rhyme. You know, it's not that many people that want to you know try to say something. You know, you only got a couple you know lyricists. It's really you know people just trying to say something, just trying to tell you a story through the way they rap. Everybody come out now, they ain't really you know it's the same old stuff. You know. Rap is just rap is just it's basically gonna be it's repetitive. Basically gonna it's be gonna be repetitive. repetitive itself, it's gonna repeat itself. I feel that later on in the future, rap will get more more advanced. Like people will have more things to talk about. It'll just be different. It'll just be still that same energy because right now it's like 20 years from now, rap is still all it does is advances each year. So all I can see for the future is it's just gonna advance and advance and advance. Get bigger and bigger like a snowball down the hill, basically.